guys. So it's been a long time since I sat down and talked to the camera, if I'm being honest. I feel awkward and uncomfortable, but I figure I need to do this for memory's sake. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Emily. I make motherhood and lifestyle travel type content on this channel, just kind of whatever I feel like making to have some fun because it is just a fun thing for me to be doing. Today, I wanna be talking about baby, mostly for memory's sake. I just finished my second trimester, so I'm now in my third trimester, and this pregnancy feels like it's going by so much faster than my last pregnancy, which makes sense because my first pregnancy, I was pregnant through the pandemic. I wasn't able to work. Everything was like online. I was just home all the time, and I didn't already have a toddler that I was taking care of and running around after. It was just very leisurely. We were outside all the time. We didn't really have anything to do. And because I was pregnant, I was never the one that would do the grocery shopping. Like somebody else would always be doing that. Um, so I never left the house. Like, of course it dragged on. That felt like a very, very long pregnancy. Whereas this pregnancy, I have a crazy three-year-old running around I am working full time. We have so many chores to do and then top that off with just like regular extracurriculars. My husband is also like more so out of the house. Again, not the pandemic anymore. So like he's back to like doing things outside the house. I'm grateful that I work from home. It relieves a lot of stress, literally just from like having to go to and from work. Like I don't have that issue and I save a lot of time by being able to just like work here. Well, we talk about my second trimester and I give you a little update about what it's been like to be in my second trimester, symptoms wise, how I've been feeling. I'm going to fold these towels because I need to do it and I figure kill two birds, one stone right now. Whew. It's really windy outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's we're, we're getting to winter at this point. <laughs> I made some notes in my phone just so I would remember what I wanted to mention in this little second trimester recap. Wow, like this pregnancy is really just, it's flying. It's flying, like it's going by so extremely quickly. So quickly, like the baby's gonna be here in a couple months and we have not done like any shopping we don't know the gender we don't know anything and it's it's kind of stressful okay let's get started so coming into the second trimester which was a while ago i was still very very nauseous i was still on my anti-nausea medicine diclectin um which honestly if i didn't take that like i was still throwing up like consistently and I tried, as soon as I went into my second trimester, I was like, okay, I can stop taking this now. I shouldn't be nauseous anymore. And I tried lowering like the amount because I was taking two a day. I started taking one a day, but I was still feeling really nauseous. So then I went back to taking two a day. And then I was just like, okay, I'm gonna be nauseous this whole pregnancy. Like that is my fate. That is gonna be my reality. And then I forgot to fill my prescription over Christmas break. So I couldn't even take it if I wanted to. So at 23-ish weeks pregnant, Christmas time, I couldn't take it anymore. I didn't have access to it. My doctor's offices were closed. I wasn't gonna go to like an emergency room for, I don't even know if you could go for a prescription. Um, and it was Christmas Eve. So I was like, okay, I'm probably just gonna be super, super sick, literally for Christmas. Uh, and gratefully, I didn't take my medicine. I didn't take it and I felt fine and it was fine and I wasn't nauseous and it was great. So my nausea didn't stop until the 23rd week. I don't know if it stopped before and I was still just taking the medicine preemptively, but I wasn't throwing up. And as soon as I started taking that medicine, I stopped throwing up gratefully because I was vomiting like two to three times a day before I started taking it. Like it was not sustainable for me to be throwing up that much in my first trimester so I'm really grateful modern medicine gave me a prescription that stopped me from vomiting. Mental health wise through this pregnancy 
I feel like it's important to mention that it's been like this pregnancy in general from the beginning. It's been harder for me mentally. I am just not, not that I'm not happy because we were trying, like I was really excited to be pregnant, but like my emotions feel so much more all over the place. I don't know if I'm just not remembering correctly from my first pregnancy, but I'm also gonna go ahead and say the seasons have a big role to play with that. Um, I got pregnant like in the middle of summer, so the last half of summer I didn't really feel like I could do anything. I was vomiting, tired, it was hot outside, like I just felt so gross. So then I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm wasting summer. And in Canada, you don't want to waste summer. Summer is so short and I was like, oh, there's so many things I wanted to do and I couldn't do any of those things. So I got really in my head about it. And then going into winter, again, there were so many things I wanted to do, but I'm just so tired. Like growing a baby is pulling from everything in you and it's taking all of my energy to be working and growing this baby. And then just trying to do regular chores not to mention like extracurricular anything. Like I was just so tired. And when it was winter, like coming in early December, like it's starting to get cold. The sun is not staying out as long. There's the time change. I was really sad and everything was just making me so sad. And I was like, oh my gosh, like my son was going to bed earlier cause he's, he says, oh, it's dark outside. I should go to sleep. And he was just getting more sleep, which is fine. I'm happy for him he was getting more sleep. But I'm like, I never get to see him. I'm just working all day. So I did take some stress leave from work uh, just so I could be home. And I really needed time to adjust to winter. Um, I was just not in the headspace. Like I couldn't keep working. I was too like overwhelmed with everything else. So I did take some time off. I was like, okay, let me just relax because this it wasn't sustainable for me to be feeling the way that I was feeling uh just like so so overwhelmed and I feel like that's all I could really say in comparison to when I was pregnant with my son like my first born I don't know if this is a boy or a girl so I don't know if this is my son or daughter but when I was pregnant with Oliver again he's just over the age of three so like four years ago I was, I got pregnant in like January. So winter, like the gloomy months is when I was feeling sick, which was fine. And it was the pandemic. Then I had my, a lot of energy <laughs> through the summer. And for what we could do at that time, we were doing things. We were out in the backyard doing little fires, like it was great. And then I had him in the fall, which is my favorite season. And like, I was just so excited. And like a fall baby was just like oh, the dream. So just how the seasons lined up with that pregnancy was way better for my mental health than how they're lining up for this pregnancy. Just being so drained and missing summer and feeling overwhelmed in the winter, as I always do. Like I always get sad in winter, but it was just exemplified, like not exemplified. It was like extreme, extremely hard this winter. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about that. It was literally, nothing was actually bothering me, but everything was bothering me. That's, that's all I could really say about that. I kind of already touched on this one already, but I wrote down that I was expecting a bigger energy bump, jump, just like I thought I'd feel a lot better in my second trimester, and I didn't. I was still super exhausted. I still spend so much of my time just lazing around on the couch and it's not helpful. I'm having issues sleeping. I wake up like every night, like such small things wake me up and my toddler does still like venture into our room to see what we're doing. Not to see what we're doing. He'll come into our room from his room to come sleep with us for like the latter half of the night. And he came into our room last night at like 4 a.m. And <laughs> I was then awake till six because I just could not fall back asleep. And that keeps happening. I just can't get my body. Once I'm awake, it's like 
I'm awake. My brain thinks I should be doing things and I have nothing to do at 4am. I'm still physically tired, but I can't get back to sleep. Oh my gosh. I also feel way more out of breath. This pregnancy, just less space in my lungs. End of sentence to breathe. I don't exercise regularly at all. I'll go through bursts where I might stretch or do yoga, but I haven't done that at all this pregnancy. And like, I'm not as fit as I used to be, if I'm gonna be honest. And you could tell, because I'm out of breath all the time. Going up multiple flights of stairs, like, no thank you, not going to happen. I swear I don't have that many more symptoms for me to go over, like, it's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> being pregnant's not as hard as I feel like I'm making it sound, but it can be extremely difficult and it's not as easy as other people. I don't know, it's definitely, it's, your body's gonna react differently. Like my first pregnancy felt really easy and this one is feeling very hard. And it's going to be different for everyone and everyone's body is different and you're going to react differently. I'm obviously older now, so maybe I'm just ancient. And my body feels ancient when I'm carrying babies like an ancient person. Like, I don't know. But I'm getting a lot of round ligament pain, which I don't remember happening at all in my first pregnancy. But like right here before my belly like popped. So I'd say like early in the 20 weeks mark when my belly was just significantly growing, like closer to like four months pregnant. Uh, this like right here hurt and it's not skin stretching cause I, this is what I use actually, Palmer's cocoa butter formula for like stretch marks. I put this on every night um, and my right here wasn't hurting from my skin stretching. It was like my muscles stretching like underneath and it was just a pain that I hadn't quite experienced before <laughs> and I was like huh I don't remember this this feels so extreme and I'm also just so much bigger this pregnancy than I was in my first pregnancy so I'm like maybe that's it I like feel huge and I know I'm not that big but in my mind I am ginormous I've also been struggling more with just body image this pregnancy and I know it's not uncommon to struggle with body image while you are pregnant. It happens to a lot of people. Again, in my first pregnancy, it was like summer when I was at my biggest and summer dresses, all my old summer dresses, like I didn't even really need to buy anything. Everything just fit because it's a dress and it's just stretchy and goes, goes over your stomach. But all my clothing for like fall and winter pants wise, None of it fit so early in my pregnancy. I wrote down the week that things stopped fitting. Yeah, I was literally like 16 weeks pregnant and my clothes just like weren't fitting me comfortably. At least that's when my jeans stopped fitting me comfortably and I wasn't gonna force myself to wear them. So I struggled a lot. I went out of my way to go shopping. I did a little thrift haul to just buy some more things that fit. These tights, I pretty much live in them. I got a two pack of just maternity tights because I was so in my head about being larger. Cause I'm like, my sweaters fit me, but I don't have pants. And I was finding it so difficult to pair things together. Not to mention while I was out before, like I was very visibly pregnant, a lady was like, oh, you're fat. And I was like, <laughs> who says that to people? Like it was so triggering. I was so upset. I don't know. I Everything, everything was just getting me so in my head and I didn't feel good about the way I looked this pregnancy, topping it off with I experienced a lot of hormonal acne, which my midwife was like, there's nothing you can do. It's pretty much all cleared up now. It's not an issue. It's not bothering me now. And now that my bump is more significant, I feel pregnant. I feel beautiful while I'm big belly pregnant. It was just like that in-betweeny where I was just feeling bloated and things didn't fit comfortably, but I wasn't pregnant enough. I don't know. That sounds like such a bizarre thing to say, but that's how I was feeling. And I know I can't be the only one who's feeling that way. That's got to be normal. And at least that's what I tell myself. I'm like, it must be normal to feel this way. I can give you a little bump date. So 16 weeks pregnant is the beginning of your second trimester. This is what my stomach looked like at 16 weeks. 
and this is what my stomach is looking like right now. I just turned 27 weeks. Technically I'm in my third trimester, but I'm significantly larger here at 27 weeks. Like I'm, I'm big. <laughs> I'm still getting, this is where I'm getting the most stretch marks. And then on my like thighs, I'm not noticing any on my stomach, which I'm grateful for, but I'm sure it'll happen eventually during one of my pregnancies because I hope to have more, whereas my husband would be quite happy with just two. I'd like to continue having children. <laughs> okay, the last thing I wanna mention, at least the last thing I have written here, is to give a little update on baby. We obviously had our 20 week ultrasound that happens in your second trimester. We were unable to find out the gender like we were expecting to because baby had its legs just squished together so you couldn't see anything. And it was also a student who was performing the like, the ultrasound tech was a student. Like she went to a local college and she said that before she started. She was like, are you okay with the student doing it? I said, sure, whatever. So I don't know if she actually just couldn't tell or she just gave us an excuse, but yeah, we didn't find out the gender, but at that time, everything looked good for baby. All of the measurements, we got to hear the heartbeat, everything looked phenomenal. Oliver likes to come into my midwife appointment, appointments now, so he gets to hear the heartbeat. We don't get to see the baby at the midwife appointments, like they don't do an ultrasound, but they check that they hear the baby and they check like the, how big your belly is growing. Everything is, normal. They told me it was should be the same centimeter as however many weeks you are. So my stomach should have grown 27 centimeters at this point, being that I'm 27 weeks pregnant. Um, and I'm lining up, give or take like a centimeter, and I'm lining up with that exactly. So baby's looking good and baby moves all the time. I noticed movements really soon in this pregnancy. Like I was so aware of like all the little flutters I don't know if that's because I found out that I was pregnant sooner, so it was just in my mind, like, I'm feeling this. But I noticed a lot of little flutters, like, really early in the second trimester, and little kicks and stuff. I'd always try and get my husband to feel them, and he always said he didn't. And I'd get so upset about it, I'm like, how do you not feel this? Like, I feel this so strongly. And now the baby is, like, actually moving, and, like, you could see kicks, and it moves my stomach. When I film it, of course that's when baby stops moving, at least usually. I've caught it on camera maybe once or twice, but I'm I'm just so excited. Baby is healthy, baby is looking good, baby is ba a big baby, <laughs> and I'm so excited. My husband's so excited, my son is so excited, it's gonna be, yeah. That is everything that I have for my second trimester little baby update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please follow along if you're interested in seeing some maternity, pregnancy, baby content. I'm so excited to film it because this is my favorite thing to film with my son and just editing the videos and I look back on them and I cry, honestly, often. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I used to be so little and now he's not. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a fun filled fantastic life uh and it's okay if you're not because sometimes things happen and life's not perfect yeah bye guys <laughs>